the pores on the parts as shown in the images are void. That remains unfilled or when the molecules on the outer skin of the part cools and solidifies faster than the molecules internal to the part or the areas which fills last leading to the air traps and causing the vacuum voids. My name is Jagdish Atole and in this video we will discuss the vacuum void defect. Do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss any new learning video from the design gigs. Without any further delay let's deep dive into the topic. What are these open pores on the part? These are vacuum voids. The vacuum voids are the packets of air trapped within or close to the surface of an injection molded prototype. And the trapped air is the air which fails to escape from the mold vent. Usually the air is trapped in the mold at locations like sharp corners or in the areas that fills last like in, in this first image this is the area which is getting filled last and in that area if that air is getting trapped that leads to the air trap or the vacuum voids or we can simply call it as the voids so let's discuss the causes of void so the first is uneven certification so the vacuum voids are often caused by your uneven certification between the surface and the inner section of your prototype the second reason is insufficient holding pressure uneven certification that leads to the vacuum void can be prevented when the holding pressure is insufficient to condensate the molten plastic in the mold the third defect or the third cause is misalignment mold halves so the voids can also develop from your part that is cast from the mold with the two halves that are improperly aligned vacuum voids can be caused by the sharp corners and improper venting and the non-uniform thickness uh, because of the sharp corners the air may get trapped during uh, the mold filling like in in this corner areas this is the sharp corner where a, the air may get trapped during the filling the voids will also occur in the area where the trapped air fails to escape means the because of the improper venting or the area where it is getting filled last if the proper vents are not provided at the proper location then the vacuum voids will occur on the parts and because of non-uniform thickness we may get either sink marks or the voids what are the remedies let's say for example if we design the part with the non-uniform thickness so either we may get the sink marks or we may get the voids on the part so that's very important to maintain the uniform thickness on the part as a design engineer whenever we are designing the part that's the thumb rule for the plastic design engineer now what are the remedies for this vacuum voids so by adjusting the molding conditions to eliminate that air trap we can modify the filling pattern by reducing the injection speed or we can uh, mitigate that by having the enlarged venting so we can provide the proper venting in the cavities we can eliminate this trapped air and we can mitigate this defect by increasing the holding pressure uh, as well as by increasing the holding time the other way is by altering the part geometry or the mold designs like reducing the thickness ratio and by locating the gate at the thickest part so pay attention to the proper placement of the vent so place the vent in the areas that fills last and provide the proper vent size so make sure that the proper vent size is large enough so that the air present in that cavity can escape from the vent during that injection but be careful while placing or while selecting the vent size because too large vent size can cause the other defects like the flash defect so it is recommended to have vent size in the range of 0.025 mm to 0.38 mm only like if your vent size is bigger or if it is improper then what are the materials we are injecting with like some injection pressure that may escape or that may leak out from that vent area so it's very important to place the proper vent size and we can eliminate the void defects by providing the fillet so that the air will not get trapped and by aligning the mold halves properly because improper al uh, alignment or the misalignment uh, causes the vacuum void so ensure that the mold halves directly align so with these remedies we can mitigate the vacuum void defect and most of the defects are caused by your non-uniform thickness and uh, the sharp edges on the part so for a design engineer it is the thumb rule 
to maintain the uniform thickness and provide the corners or the fillets to the sharp corners or the sharp edges except your parting line no edge should remain the sharp edge so on that areas though the fillet is not mentioned we can give the nominal fillet as a 0.3 mm to 0.5 mm only parting line area will remain as a sharp edge 